This is one of the dumbest things I've ever seen on a car. And that's the subject of today's idea of the day. I live in New York City. And one of the things I see an awful lot of these days is that. These are known as bumper guards, bumper badgers, bumper savers, bumper eagles, bumper sentries, bumper, 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 this and that. There's a gazillion products out there that are supposed to save your bumper. They keep them from getting scratches. And for what it's worth, 90% of the people that seem to be using them have no idea what the heck they're supposed to do with them in the first place. Let me set the record straight. If you drive around like that, with that ugly thing hanging on the back of your bumper, what good is it? You buy a car and you drive it around and you, you have a certain pride in your car and you don't want people to see the scratches on your bumper, so you buy one of those. But you drive around with that on and you keep that on the car pretty much 24 seven. You never take them out of your trunk. They cover your bumper up with this ugly looking thing. Now. If somebody has a scratch and I'm looking at them from a distance, I can't see the scratch. I'd have to be literally standing right next to it to see the scratch. But I could see one of those bumper badger, bumper guards, bumper sentries, whatever you want to call them. I could see them from almost half a mile to a mile away. They're ugly and they're always there. It reminds me of like when people used to put the plastic on their sofas all the time because they didn't want to get... They, they didn't want anything to get on their sofa. They didn't want their sofas to look ugly. But meanwhile, the plastic was uglier than the stains they would have had on them. And a bumper badger, to me, looks dumber than the scratch. Now, if you're gonna buy one of those products, here's how you're supposed to use it. You put it on the back of your bumper when you park your car so that the guy behind you doesn't scratch your bumper when he tries to get in and out of his spot. I get it. But as soon as you get to your car, take the stupid thing out. There it is. It's flapping around in the back. And who knows? It might even add some extra scratches. It's just plain stupid. It makes your car look dumb. And for what it's worth, man up or woman up or chin up, ignore the scratch. There's bigger things to worry about than that. And that stupid bumper thing, it's ugly as hell. And that's today's idea of the day. All right. There it is. That's today's idea of the day. Some of them are pretty good, right? And some of them suck, I admit. First to admit, some of my ideas suck. But if you visit Idea of the Day every day and you subscribe to my channel by looking at the subscribe link in the corner, you'll see a brand new idea every single day. And I promise you, some of them don't suck.